Bremen versus Darmstadt. Bremen minus 150. I thought this could be a good parlay piece. Uh, Darmstadt plus 390. Bremen, I think, maybe win to nil because Darmstadt are plus 143 not to score. Now, the thing is with Bremen, they're not... They are one of them sides that are happy to keep a clean sheet. And 1-0 is as good as 4-0 in their world. Uh, they're minus 133 to score twice. The under or over is set at 2.75. Stinch, for me, this was one of the stronger ones. But I still am not 100% confident. Yeah, I'm not sure I can trust Bremen at, at minus 150 either. I, I think Darmstadt will finish bottom of the Bundesliga so that's uh, that's one less position for Heidenheim to finish in um, they, they haven't won in 15 of the last 17 Darmstadt and I think the writing's on the, the wall for them ultimately uh, Bremen however you know, we, we've got with Bremen a few times this season but it's generally been when they've been underdog and when they've been favourites to win matches, they have underwhelmed. I mean, even in the last six weeks, they lost at home to Heidenheim a couple of weeks ago. Um, I'll try and stop talking about Heidenheim in a minute. Yeah. And they only drew 1-1 away at Bochum. And in the reverse fixture of this game, I think I backed Bremen. I think they ran about plus 130 from memory, which I thought was a great price for... Uh, it was at the beginning of the season, but it was a great price for a, a Bundesliga team against a newly promoted Bundesliga team. And they lost 4-2. Um, and I think that's just what you can get with uh, with Bremen. That um, trusting them at minus one fifty is uh, is too difficult for me. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be on them at that price. Maybe I would rather go Bremen over one point five goals instead. That's quite short though. Still at minus one thirty three. I'd probably have to sort of try and be clever and put that in a in a multiple with something else. Um, but of course, it's very very difficult to make a case for for Darmstadt who. As I said, um, I'm not sure if you agree, Alex, but I think they'll finish bottom. Yeah, let's hope so, because we've got plus 100 in our futures for them to be relegated, Alex. At even money, yes. Uh, And I agree uh, about the Werder Bremen lack of uh, uh, consistency when they are uh, um, favourites. But uh, at home, uh, they had last season, I think, the worst record when at home as favourites in nine games, they won only three as favorites. But uh, this season, they won four of their last games uh, at home uh, uh, in which they were favorites. And uh, again, yes, they uh, underperformed a bit uh, against Heidenheim. That was the fifth game that they were favorites and they failed to win, losing against uh, Heidenheim. But they still uh, created a lot of opportunities uh, there. The XG was at uh, two pl- two, uh, 2.1. Uh, they had uh, 65% procession. So I think that they played uh, very well also against Heidenheim. It, was, it happens. You, you can lose matches. But against Darmstadt, there is no possible way that um, they will not win this game. And I'm going with uh, a free bet, in my opinion, the minus one. I see that the line is set at uh, minus uh, 0.75, minus 120. Uh, why? Uh, but I'm going with the plus money, plus 115 for minus one on the Asian handicap uh, for Bremen. Uh, again, I see them winning this game. And now let's see, plus money, pl- uh, plus 115 uh, if they win by two or more goals. If they win by one, it's a, it's a void. I will take it, but I will play the value bet here. And do you, listen, I've come up with this because I'm thinking that Bremen are one of them sides that are not going to push, push, push. Uh, first of all, Oris says, what's happened to that Darmstadt? Uh, he actually says that, that free-flowing, attack-minded Darmstadt. Well, teams worked out that that's what they wanted to do and they just jumped all over them. Uh, I quite like the fact that there's not going to be four goals in this game and Bremen to win and under three and a half is plus 143. Um, and that looks massive. Uh, you, you can you can even push it for Bremen to win an under four point five at uh, minus one twenty five, something like that. I know, but I mean, you're minus one twenty five. Yeah, but you're plus. greedy, man. You're greedy. You're <laughs> always greedy. Yeah. You? I know, but greed doesn't help me in the Bundesliga this nah, year. Greedy's good. Best one of the best bits of advice I ever had in this game was always be greedy. Was that? Um... What was that? That was before the Wolf of uh, Wall Street well, with uh, Michael Douglas, wasn't it? Was it Gordon Gecko or something like that? And he used to say that greed is good. Uh, but only listen, don't be frightened. Don't be frightened of big numbers. Let's have a little look at the official picks here because I think we all think, think that 
Verda are the way to go. Verda Bremen, minus one at plus 115. Verda, an under three and a half is plus 143. Verda, an under four and a half, though, is around minus 120. Also, uh, let's move... 